Welcome to my playthrough of the Da Vinci Code. Uh, this is the 2006 2K Games Da Vinci Code, not the Big Fish Games Da Vinci Code, which is some sort of weird puzzle game. But this one, I can I, I haven't played the other one, but I can pretty much guarantee you this one is far better, though, because you get to beat the crap out of cops, and there's a naked dude at the beginning of it, and it's just, you know, it's awesome. Not awesome in that it's a good game, but awesome as in that there's awesome shit in it. So let's get this stuff started. So if you haven't seen the movie or read any of the bo books, where I think there's just one book, I don't know, maybe there are more. I, I haven't read the book or books, so this dude's like the main villain, he's some albino masochistic monk dude. Um, um, just a note, in real life, albino people have, um, pretty bad vision. Sometimes they're even, like, pretty much blind. But this dude runs around and shoots people all the time, so... Maybe he really is working for God, maybe that's how he can see, or... Maybe he's just lucky, or maybe he's faking the albino thing, I don't know. Hmm. Also, the audio right now is so damn quiet, I can't even hear it. I have no idea why that is. Once we get past the cutscene, everyone's loud and clear, though. Yeah, so you're, you're playing Robert, whatever his name is. You show up at the Louvre, and, dude, you're gonna meet Stead. Follow me, Robert. I want to show you the dead body. There's no actual reason for me to show you the dead body, but come stare at it with me. Isn't it fascinating? Oh yeah, the CSI-style flashbacks right here. I'm pretty sure the game designers were like watching CSI while they were designing this game, because... There aren't too many flashbacks, but these are perf These would fit right into CSI. You, you could just kind of throw one into an episode randomly, you wouldn't even know it doesn't belong there. Okay, so this dude, not the monk, the other dude, he's the curator of the museum, so he should know about the security systems and shit. He should totally fucking know that the damn thing that's going to drop down has bars. It's not a solid wall, it's not going to stop the guy from shooting him. No shit the bars were no defense. The guy has a gun. He just shot him. That's all. Well, he shoots him in a second. So yes, that is the guy who died just one second ago in that scene. He took off all of his clothes you saw the photograph? with his dying so breath. This should be of no surprise. Feel free to examine the body, Mr. Lang. Feel free to examine the body, Robert. I know you're just some random professor, but feel free to poke around and contaminate the crime scene, you know, it's whatever. You know, my, my home is your home, or, or as I guess more appropriate, my crime scene is your crime scene. Feel free to look at the naked man. It's a pentacle, one of the oldest symbols on Earth, used over 4,000 years before Christ. Devil worship. No, the pentacle is a pre-Christian symbol that relates to nature worship. The ancients envisioned their world in two halves, masculine and feminine. This pentacle is representative of the So with his dying breath, he, uh, he drew a, a symbol on his stomach with his own blood. Sacred feminine, or divine goddess. Sonier of all people would know this. Sonier drew a goddess symbol on his stomach? Interesting. The position of his feet reinforces the reference to the pentacle and the sacred feminine. I beg your pardon? Replication. Repeating yeah, the cops the totally not buying this shit either. To its meaning. Jacques Sonier positioned himself in the shape of a five-pointed star. <laughs> Interesting analysis. I agree, it's interesting. He stripped himself naked, folded his clothes, and put them away from himself? Uh, Note no? the question mark there. Even he's finding this hard man. to believe. 
I think he was trying to show us that everything he did had a purpose. Even his nudity may have meaning. Uh, what do you think about the use of his own blood as ink? Obviously, he had nothing else to write with. Actually, I believe he used blood such that the police would follow certain forensic procedures. I'm sorry? Look at his left hand. He's clutching a large felt-tip marker. It smells like alcohol. Sonia was holding it when we found him. Yeah, As I told funny you, story. Yeah, the curator is actually an alcoholic, and that's actually a flask. Are you familiar with this kind of light? As you may know, police use black light illumination to search crime scenes for blood and other forensic evidence. So you can imagine our surprise. Yeah, so the symbol the dude drew on his stomach is, is what made the cop find the shit drawn on the ground next to him. Part of so it the cop like sees, hey, a <clears throat> star on the guy's yes, stomach, I better uh, get the black light out and search the ground for hidden messages. We believe these numbers may be the key to who killed him, uh, but the text appears to be an accusation of some sort. Uh, wouldn't you agree? An accusation against his murder makes sense, I suppose. Sonnier was a Frenchman. He lived in Paris, and yet he chose to write this message... In English? Precisement, Monsieur Langdon. I have seen a lot of death in my work, and let me tell you something. When a man is murdered by another man, I do not believe his final thoughts are to write an obscure spiritual statement that no one will understand. I believe he is thinking of one thing only. Now, vengeance. I believe Sonia wrote this note to tell us who killed him. But that makes no sense whatsoever. You told me Sonia was attacked by someone he had apparently invited in. Considering the circumstances, I would assume that if Sonia wanted to tell you who killed him, he would have written down somebody's name. Precise more, precise more. Capitan. Oh, uh, one moment, please. Uh, me? Uh, Capitan. So, fun fact, this is the only time in the entire level that the cops actually speak French to each other. All the rest of the time it's English. Captain, please excuse the interruption, but... Ce n'est pas le moment! I have deciphered the numeric code, but before I explain, I have an urgent message for Mr. Langdon. For Mr. Langdon? The U.S. Embassy asked that you phone in as soon as possible. While I explain the code to Captain Fash, you need to make this call. Thank you. Where can I find a phone? This line is secure. You may use it. I should be out of the streets. Bonjour. Vous êtes bien chez Sophie Je suis absent pour le moment, mais... I'm sorry, Miss Neveu. I think you may have given me the wrong... No, that is the right number. It's the three-digit code on the paper I gave you. But... The embassy has an automated message system. You have to dial an access code to pick up your messages. She handed me the a note. Numbers that Sonier wrote I should look at that. Ah, this is the number I'm supposed to call. Okay, so you would look at this and you'd say that 555 number is obviously the number you're supposed to dial. That's not so. The thing that's labeled access code, that's the phone number. Apparently the embassy has a three-digit phone it number. Is the Fibonacci sequence, a progression. Considering what you have at stake here tonight, I thought you might appreciate knowing that Jacques Saunier might be playing games with you. Apparently not. I will inform the director of cryptography you no longer need our services. Is everything all right? An accident. A friend. I'll need to fly home first thing in the morning. Who would you like to sit down? Actually, I think I'd like to use the restroom. The restrooms are at the end of the Grand Gallery. Shall I accompany you? Not necessarily. Um, I think I'd like to that's a little weird. 
I must return to Monsieur Sonnier's office for a moment. Please come find me directly. Uh, when why do you offer to come with me? There is more we need to discuss. Thank God you came. We don't have much time. I wanted to warn you, Monsieur Langdon, you are sous surveillance caché under a guarded observation. But why? Because yes, why? Why did you say that in French and then immediately say what it meant in English? You. Look in your jacket pocket. You will find proof they are tracking you. Just look. What is this? It's a GPS tracking dot. It continuously transmits its location to a global positioning system satellite that the DCPJ no, can monitor. No, it doesn't continuously transmit its position to a GPS to satellite. They locations. don't. That's not how it works. Exactly. Right. Within two feet anywhere no. on the globe, they have you on electronic leash. It might transmit its position to something fact, else, but not to a GPS do, satellite. Because it would make that case it much stronger. Why would I run? I'm innocent. Do you recall the three lines of text that Sonia wrote on the floor? What you saw was not the entire message. This is a photo of the complete message. Why would Senier write this? Was he trying to frame me? No. He wrote it for me. The numbered code is so meaningless. Senier wrote it to make sure the investigation crime scene and intentionally destroyed evidence by removing the fourth line and she somehow got there before the police did. Why you specifically? And then I left. Wasn't for some other so they could call her back. This is the nickname he called me when I lived with him. It stood for Princess Sophie. Because the fourth we line obviously wasn't there just a minute ago. Jacques Sonnier. He, uh, he was my grandfather. Where's Langdon? Uh, still in the men's room, sir. We are seeing small movements, so the GPS dot is obviously still on him. Perhaps he feels ill. If he had found the dot, he would have removed it and tried to run. Hmm. Fine. What should I do? Fash will be taking you into custody any minute. I can get you out of here, but we need to act now. You want me to run? It's the smartest thing you could do. If you stay, you will spend weeks in a French jail. But if you get to your embassy, then your government can protect you while I prove you had nothing to do with this murder. Forget it. You need to tell Fosh that the message on the floor was for you, and that my name is not there as an accusation. Fosh is convinced you are guilty. The Why only is way to get you out is with a distraction. The GPS Why? Why? We There's no damn reason. There are security cameras all over the damn place. He already knows it was a crazy albino monk that shot the, the guy. Or I should already know that. More than a clam. See if you can find something to attach it to that would make it heavier. I mean, obviously the main character is... Not... He doesn't live here. I mean, shit, you know? There's gonna be security I cameras at the so hotel showing where he's at. Work. Come, help me open this window. Yeah, and all you have to do is nudge the, um... Yeah, nudge the window a little bit. You don't have to open it, don't have to break it. Just kind of give it a little nudge, a little push. And it sets off alarms in the curator's office. And there's a security cam in the background. Quick, Robert. Help me get this window open. Hurry, Robert. I'll help you, Sophie. This is obviously a man's job. <laughs> Good. Not just now anyone can open a window. Inside this shop and throw it out the window. Worked. Now for the next part. He jumped. I'm showing the signal out on Place du Carousel outside the bathroom window, and it is not moving at all. <gasps> oh, yeah. I think Langdon has just committed suicide. Yes, someone coming. Quick, Albert. Hide. And he checks two stalls and he gets bored. Bring my car around. I want to be there when we make the arrest. All right, time to examine the body again. Don't worry, apparently all the cops are gone or something. 
O Lane Saint. The scrambled Fibonacci sequence Let's is just a stand out here in the, the numbers are a hint as to how to decipher the rest of the message. He wrote the sequence out of order to tell us to apply the same concept to the text. O Draconian Devil, O Lane Saint, those lines mean nothing. They are simply letters written out of order. How does he you know they're written out of order? Anaclan? Like a world jumble from a newspaper? Your grandfather's meaning was right in front of us all along, and he left us more than enough clues to see it. Let me see that photo. No, really, how the hell does he know that they're written out of order? Oh yeah, by the way, you get hints in the uh, in the little puzzle things. The first hint that he offers you is Lisa, so awesome. Leonardo da Vinci. His hint is explaining what an anagram is. My grandfather created such intricate anagrams in the minutes before he died. My grandfather probably created these anagrams long ago. What is important? I find it interesting that he finds it something. unlikely that he could You're create an anagram Lisa? before he died, but now? that he could after getting shot fatally take off all of his clothes. Draw symbols on his stomach on his stomach me. in blood and then the write a secret the message to a security turn style. Mine with is apparently the a flask left. marker or some shit. Do you know how to get to the embassy? Whatever my grandfather was trying to tell me, I don't think he wanted anyone else to find it. As strange as it may sound, I think he wants me to get to the Mona Lisa before anyone else does. I'll come. No. We don't know how long the Grand Gallery will stay empty. You have to go now. I will see you at the embassy, Monsieur Langdon. Okay, well, let's go find that damn UV light. So, uh, those two cops were just standing there the whole time then, or what? Because I'm pretty sure he was... Robert was kind of standing out in plain view there. I think these cops are all legally blind. They can only see clearly for like 10 feet. Oh yeah, so security camera, here's their awesome security system. All you have to do is push a button to make the gate go up, so after you snatch a painting, just push the button and walk out with the gate. Or with the... Push the button walk out with the painting, it's pretty, you know, it's pretty awesome. If the officer sees me, he will not let me pass. I must sneak by him. So far, so good. I'm gonna go commit assault now. This should be useful. This could be useful to knock someone out. Dodge this! Oh yeah, take that, you motherfucker. Ah, okay, get out of the way, body shit. God, and all I had to do is hit a cop in the head with a... I don't know what that was. There you are. Robert, I told you to get out of here. If fast... Where were you? I had to get the black light. If my grandfather left me a message, I thought they told you to leave. Why did Seigneur write my name on the floor? P.S. Find Robert Langdon. The letters P.S. may mean Princess Sophie. But do they mean anything else to you? Well, anything they mean postscript. Yes. I'm pretty I sure they mean that to just about everyone. When I was very young. Sophie, this is crucial. Can you tell me if the initials appeared with a symbol? A fleur-de-lis? How could you possibly know that? I'm fairly certain your grandfather was a member of a secret society. The fleur-de-lis combined with the initials PS, that is the Brotherhood's official coat of arms. They call themselves 
the Priory of Sion. The Priory's membership has included some of history's most cultured individuals. Men like Botticelli, Sir Isaac Newton, Victor Hugo. Hitler. And more importantly, Leonardo oh, or Leonardo da Vinci. Da Vinci. Whatever, they're the pretty close. The identities of living Priory members are kept extremely secret. But the P.S. and fleur de that you saw as a child would make sense if tonight were Priory related. There is a lot we need to discuss, but I cannot afford to let them capture you, Robert. Sonier obviously brought us together for a reason. I'm staying until we figure this out. <sighs> Fine. Then help me. My grandfather wanted us to see this painting for a reason. There must be a message hidden here. It smells like alcohol. Perhaps I should Where try I something else. Alcohol? What is this? Okay, so it kind of looks like all these letters and shit like are just Brandon floating Simmons. in the air magically. Nothing. I'm pretty sure they're actually on glass, way. though. The first time I saw this, I'm like, wow, is he a magician or something? He's able to write these symbols on nothing. The arrangement of these symbols seems to indicate Apparently not a magician, just decide to step up to the uh, glass and write a bunch of shit in invisible ink with this marker and just, you know, either no one saw him or no one said anything. They're like, hey, well, that crazy curator is, you know, writing all over the glass again. Oh, he's so crazy. An encrypted substitution cipher. No, the substitution cipher is not encrypted. This was encrypted with a substitution cipher. A monoalphabetic substitution cipher, to be more precise. Decrypted it. Apparently, I decrypted the substitution cipher. Bacchus and Urio? Um, Bacchus is the god or of the wine. stuff Urio encrypted with the, the substitution the cipher, I guess. There is a painting of Bacchus in the but decrypting gallery. the cipher itself and sounds Uriel so much more interesting. And Urio is in Madonna of the Rocks, which should be in there too. Let's go. Robert Langdon, you are under arrest. Wait, wait! Robert is innocent. He did not murder Sonia. Asian Navu, innocent or not, I have direct orders to arrest Robert Langdon on sight. I'm sorry, but I can't go to jail until I help Sophie find the real murderer. Just you like are. OJ, he can't stop until he finds the yes, real sir. murderer. Robert, look out! <laughs> look out, Robert, the cop's gonna attack you. Yeah, these little help messages, they come up and they just don't go away for... I don't know, a few seconds is kind of annoying. Me. But Sophie, I was about to kick his ass. I really shouldn't complain about her, though. She's actually pretty damn useful in combat, surprisingly. We don't have to fight. All right, and just there, Robert went from uh, sitting in jail for a few days while they figure out that he's innocent to um, sitting in jail for about 20 years. I better move him out of sight. Well, I'll just leave him there. Damn headless painting is everywhere. Well, I oh, don't see anything special. Everyone seems to be pointing at My something. My theory is now. that Robert Bacchus suffers from blackouts. He just blacked out for a few seconds there. Between them, we have John the Baptist, and he's pointing maybe murdered someone while he was by. You know, I don't know. All right, creepy John the Baptist while he's going through his hippie phase, I guess. Pointing up at the two hot chicks, or one hot chick and one dude who looks like a chick, I don't know. There's something up there, on the painting, above John the Baptist. Give me a boost. Maybe I can reach it.
Oh, Robert, you're such a gentleman not looking up her it's skirt. It's wing. The fleur de lis So the dude just period. stores his jewelry Common up there? He just kind of... Why hide it in the first place? Hides it, not just on keep it on the tops of paintings? He was probably worried the police might take it as evidence. But why? He wanted us to find it. Is there an inscription on the ring? A clue? No. He just stashes nothing. his jewelry up there all the time. It's just kind of where he keeps it. I mean, what the hell? Okay, world's loudest phone, apparently, if we can hear it all the way down there. Those cops were totally standing in a position where you could have seen them a second ago. And why is the why the cops set up like their base of operations in the guy's office? Yeah, they pretty much never use their guns. Pretty much never. Uh, if you get to really low health, I guess they can pull their gun on you, and apparently you can take it from them, which is pretty badass, but I don't know if you can actually do anything with it. Robert, someone is coming. You must hide. They will see you. Hmm. I'm actually not sure whether you're supposed to hide or just fight them, but I'm going to kick their asses. Because I'm Robert motherfucking whatever my last name is. I can and will defend myself. I think that's enough. I may have majored in symbology, but I minored in ass kicking. Well, because you'll be feeling that when you wake up. Another headless painting. This is my grandfather's Let's check office. out the phone call. Maybe we can find a clue here. They are dead. Please pick up. This is Sister Sandrina says of peace. They are all dead. The floor has been broken. The other three are dead. Please answer. Where are you? Your fate was sealed the moment you stood against Manu's name. My theory about what that phone call was all about is that the woman was being literal. She the floor in the building they were in literally collapsed. And those people died in it, and then the, the floor further collapsed, and that's what that sound was, and her screaming. And the dude, you know, he was... I don't know, maybe that was like a TV turned on too loud or something. Who knows? Oh, let's go, let's go ransack the guy's desk now. Robert, take a look at this. It's research on where all the fleurs de lis are in the Louvre. Interesting. It might be another clue to Sonier's involvement with the Priory of Sion. Or perhaps the Priory's involvement with the Louvre. I would totally take that if I were him. This knight has been moved recently. The dust is disturbing. Okay, well, let's see here. What could cause the knight to have possibly to the moved land recently? Maybe the cops something. fucking around in here? Maybe a maid cleaning. Maybe the curator just moved it himself for no damn reason. Maybe it was slightly in the way, so he nudged it out of the way. Who knows? Wait, no. I'm sure it has to be part of a massive conspiracy. And he was pointing towards that thing specifically. It's a... Something. Probably novel. I'm surprised Robert doesn't open it up and flip to some page randomly and find a code in it somewhere. This guy has a lot of empty damn drawers, and I can't help but notice that two of the drawers on each side can't be opened. I would be suspicious of those in real life. This map of the loo. It smells... It smells like alcohol. It smells like Grandpa. Oh, he was so funny. He would be this drunk all the time. And it smells. Yeah, this one time he came into the it house without like his alcohol. pants on. And he didn't even realize it because he was so drunk. It was hilarious.
He circled his office? No. Look closer. It is the room next door. The restoration room. There is a vent up above. If you boost me up to it, maybe well, I can get to the other side. Well, you try going through the door to the restoration room. I mean, that's what people normally do. I mean, the door is locked, but the characters don't actually know that. My hypothesis is that she just likes climbing through vents. I mean, if I could find some vents in the building that were actually large enough to I climb through, I think I'd probably somewhere. want to. It seems like fun. Maybe we can find a clue here. All right. First thing you see, I guess, is this towel. Towels are always useful. Towels are cool. Glad I collected that. Then you see the enzyme table. Chemistry isn't my strong suit. Me neither. What do you think this table is used for? Who knows what the hell it's used for? The first time I played through this, I got the enzyme the purely by chance, before I even saw the painting that you're supposed to use to clean. Use it to clean. Oh yeah, and here is said painting. Okay, so did the curator just intentionally leave that dirty ass painting in there for who knows how long? Victory of you know, just in That's case he got move. murdered and some Why people followed a long series of ridiculous clues. Or was this just like coincidentally moved in there and, you know, is this is a complete red herring and we're just following it anyway? Because, I mean, really, he could have circled the damn restoration room for any reason. There are tons of paintings in here. Shit, you know, for all you know, he could have used his alcohol marker on the damn fire extinguisher. We'll just continue on the assumption that it's actually, um... Yeah, the dirty painting. Held Fash so angry before. He didn't be really sound all that angry at me. To stay out of sight. Hmm. Oh yeah, so that cop over there, I'm pretty damn sure you don't actually have to sneak past him. Cops in this game can see like 10 feet. Did you not hear? We must get to the Grand Gallery immediately. What? Where was that? Oh. This isn't necessary. Get away from him! You can't get away ah. from me. Have you had enough? Me. You know, Robert should totally do like MMA fights or something. I think he'd kick ass. Surrender, are you kind? See, and this is why Sophie kicks so much ass. Why don't we just call it even? Leave him alone. Oh, you motherfucker. Well, now you're the one I'm gonna go yeah. fight. You think you're tough? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. He's out cold. I should move him out of sight. See, in, in how many games does your AI companion actually kill enemies for you, man? Not only does she yell random things and jump at you and shit, but, or jump at your enemies, she even takes them down herself. Alright, 
right, let's go to the damn t statue. Um, uh, I, I appear to be stuck on the stairs. We should look around for more clues. I, I would gladly do so, Sophie, if I were not stuck on the stairs. I don't think we have explored every possibility yet. Uh, Okay, and I'm back over here because, um, I got stuck on the stairs. I mean, I don't really blame him. I mean, stairs can be kind of tricky, I guess. I know I get stuck on stairs all the time in real life, so I'm not that upset or anything. I mean, Robert, he just devotes all of his energy and focus into killing cops and shit, so... I don't expect him to necessarily get things like stairs. Especially since I'm pretty sure this is the first time he's used stairs in the whole level, he's just kind of like, what are these, and he just kind of panics and freezes in place. It's, it's okay, I understand. I understand, Robert, it's okay, I understand your phobia of stairs. There, there are all these little ledges, and what if you fall down, I mean... That'd be horrible. It's okay, Robert, it's okay. We'll work through this together. What? Huh? What's not okay is that it keeps on showing me these damn tutorial messages. Get away from him! You don't stand a chance! <laughs> bit better than last time. Alright, well let's go back to the Nike room. Alright, let's go ahead and drag this guy out of sight, because if uh, another cop sees him, he'll run over... T no, drag, don't flip over. He'll uh, run over and magically revive him. Well, okay, Robert, I, I guess you don't have to drag him up the stairs, I mean... I, I can see how that would be a little bit more difficult than dragging him across level ground, you know. No. Okay, fine. He's good there. He's good there. We're cool. This panel we'll just leave him there. It's no big deal. Hole in the center. Almost as though something was removed. Yes! I remember this from my childhood when I would stay at my grandfather's Yeah, Grandpa shop. just stashes his personal belongings his all over the museum, cruise. apparently. Not just jewelry, but he, um, yeah, he stashes discs just kind of randomly.
This should come in useful. This should come in useful? I can fracture skulls with this. There must be more to find. Something we have missed. Ghosts in the dark. <gasps> what? Just give up on No, don't revive him. Get up. Could be chasing rioters. Stay where I can see you. Surrender, are you can. Pick on someone your own size. Uh, I he was my own size. <gasps> Why don't we just call it even? Oh! I can and will defend myself. Oh, I just got my ass kicked. Leave her alone. Ah! I should hide him so no one will know I was here. God damn it, is Sophie a better fire than I am? Told me boxing wouldn't be useful in a teaching career. Oh, oh, whoa. What is going on here? Hmm. Okay, well, then uh, I guess Sophie is both a ghost and can walk through people, and that cop is levitating magically. Sounds fun. This looks useful. It looks useful. It turns out it's actually not all that useful, though. I should be in count of heavy, sir. You know, Langdon is. Ah! I think that's enough. Fury? Oh! Run out! Run away! Damn it, Sophie, you're pissing me off. I will use force if necessary. In my hand. Let me handle this. This could be handy. Shoot me, oh, what's that bitch? I'm gonna take your gun away from you, motherfucker. He's out cold. I better move him out. She's dying? Literally, like, dying? Special police. Have it your way. All right, then. You know, I'm kind of, kind of thinking of this more as a Call of Cthulhu game. I mean... With all these floating people and shit, and the stairs that paralyze you. Hmm, last time I disarmed a cop, I got to pick up his gun and be all badass. Well, that about does it for the first uh, mission. As you can see, I'm not that great at it, but hey, what the hell. Um, 
Yeah, so join me next time for part two. And by part two, I mean mission two. See you then. Oh yeah, I got all three secrets in previous playthroughs. Bye, everybody.